What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World and these are some things that you're gonna have to do ASAP like right now ASAP like Rocky God you got to get this done pretty much the NFL 100 are gonna be announcing special team players very soon They will then come into mutt also remember that you're gonna be eligible to get a free 94 overall player by completing the solos over a six-week period Okay, many of you guys with these missions um, you know, you're going to have to make sure you get them done. I told you guys before, I don't think that they're going to expire based on the fact that they're still remaining here. But once you see the NFL 100 week six, you are going to be eligible for one free player from the entire release. Now, special teams, we kind of like look at it like who needs a kicker until you watch, uh, you know, football on Sunday. You're like, yeah, that guy sucks. He can't make a kick. Similar to the game right now. These kickers have abilities that you can probably use in most cases to make sure that you don't flop on a kick. All right, so what we're gonna do is I pretty much, before I started the video, I was able to get these cards for very, very cheap based on what I last saw them for. The Ray guy and the St and the Stunard, uh, Stenard, or however you wanna say his name, Stenard, um, I got them for like the 157, 159. This is the cheapest that I've seen them uh, throughout a long period. Um, their power-ups were also very, very cheap. Once their new cards are released, you have to remember, those items were limited time missions. Okay, so usually you get the power-ups free, just so you know, um, you know, when you play Mutt, you got to know where you get the free stuff. Those were like week one legend bonuses or something like that. Those guys are not there anymore. So you can't get their power ups. So, you know, you're going to have to go and buy it. So people that pull it in packs currently, you can still get it. You can try to do it through uh, exchange sets, whatever. But you can't go back and play it because once it's expired, it's done. All right. Those those limited time solos. You only get the basic solos for I mean, not, not I keep saying solos going back to 19. The basic missions um, for the legends that are available inside of the, uh, the sets. So if you don't see them in the sets, that means that they're not going to be available um, inside of the missions. So you would have to either pull them or buy them from the store. So when you go to your legends tab, uh, some of you guys have also asked this like, Jemaya, where are these other legends, these kickers and stuff like that? You won't find them here. Because um, anybody that's found here, you can play the solo of what the missions. I keep saying solo. You know, you guys know what I mean by this. But at this point, they keep confusing me, bro. Um, you can then go and get their power from playing the actual mission. All right. Now that I've already said mission and solo so many times, we don't need to say it anymore. All right. So we're done with it. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to power up these players. Now, what is the impact that it has on your team? In most cases, it's going to raise your overall. Many of you are very, very upset when you come and you see like, oh, bro, you're a 93 overall, but you got a 94 offense and a 94 defense. Well, EA has made it relevant with special teams over the last three years that it counts towards your overall. So that's part of the reason why I'm recommending that you do it. But not only that, these kickers are much better than the, any other kicker that's currently available, and they're going to be much better once their new cards are released. I just urge you to understand that when the NFL 100 releases their special team players, do not go crazy, all right? Don't try to buy the cards right away. If you do with special teams, you are probably gonna go bankrupt, okay? Um, realistically speaking, the way that it's gonna work out, it's gonna be kind of weird the way that it all goes through, but um, you're not gonna make out the, uh, the right way if you try to buy anything on the release date. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna downgrade this guy. Um, we're gonna get all our chemistries back. Hold up, wait a minute, did they give me back my chemistry for that? Hold up, the jet, hold up, let me see something, let me see something real quick. Cause they don't charge me for that, right? They're not gonna charge me for this. Let me just put this back in there. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, they did give it back to me. But what? Oh yeah, they gave me back to 450. Okay, cause it was nothing. They don't charge me for that last thing. Um, we, we just got the kicker back. All right, so make sure you just, just read the stuff when you downgrade because I don't want anybody downgrading and then EA tries to get them from the back and you're like, yo, G-Mod, bro, yo, this happened. Uh, the one thing that I'll say though, if you're a Broncos theme team, you should probably keep the power up you see, for me, I'm going to keep the power up because more, more than likely, people are going to probably need them uh, for their bonuses, uh, for, their, you know, for the theme team. These players that are the theme diamonds get that times three. It's very, very critical to people getting their theme team maxed out because this guy offers times three. For us, we probably won't need him again, so it's not really an ideal situation. Why can't I auction him off? Did I put something on this guy or something? Can't be auctioned. Hold on, wait a minute. Did we put something on him by mistake or like what is going on right now? Um, oh yeah, we did. We put an ability slot. I'm like, what? Because like I know that I didn't get him next, so I'm not even trying to hear that. Like this dude got to get rage sold. Like there we go. That's better. All right, so let's see what his price is going for right now. Um, okay, so 85. 
So let's make somebody else really happy. We could get rid of him for like 79. I think like 79k is good because it'll it'll be that final step for somebody's power up. So they're more than likely buy that. Um, let's see what his power up is going for. Because it's a times three. 42. Okay, 49. Hmm. I guess we sell his power up too, no? I don't think we really need it. I was going to hold on to it to kind of see what happens. But the dudes are spending 40. You know, we'll, we'll go for like 45 and get rid of this guy ASAP. Get our coins back up. Um, we're probably going to need him anyway uh, going into Series 4. Okay, yeah, we're going to post it at the auction house. You can leave now. All right, so look. We're going to start powering up this guy. Now, with this, we're going to probably need more training because they kind of went crazy. You remember in the beginning of the year, if you guys had the game early, that we looked at this like, yo, why is it so much training? These guys are like really just taking advantage of us. Okay, so we... Bro, what do we need? 17? Okay, then we need the item. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go get some more training real quick to kind of finish powering him up. And then we have to do the punter as well. So what we could do ideally because we know we're going to get back um you know probably like 100k for the stuff that's there we're going to go ahead and we're going to search um the price ranges for the 91 to 92s um in redux and kind of see what we get from it and uh we'll go from there because we know we're sitting you know we'll have like 100k we were just at 2.3 mil but like i said buying these cards right now is going to definitely help you going forward because even if you don't want to upgrade them further, you're still going to be in a very, very good situation as far as your punters, your kickers, and stuff like that moving forward. And that's all I really care about. Are you in the best situation possible? You know what I'm saying? Like that, That's ideally what I want for everybody that watches my videos. Are you in the best situation possible? Now, looking at this right here, you guys, for me, when you start to look at some of these, um, some of these prices, I would urge you guys to kind of check out like a lot of the series redux and see, you know, what these players are going for because in most cases, you can probably get lucky and, um, you know, snipe a couple cards, whatever, uh, see what they're going for. Um, ideally, I try to look around and see, um, do they have any football outsiders or anything? No, I don't think so. They got new football outsiders coming soon. Um, Mud Heroes maybe? What do we got? 92 Mud Heroes? 325? Yeah, that's... That's craziness, like I'm not spending that. So the reason that I look at this right now, and you guys might be like, yo, the prices are so crazy, why would you do that? Ideally it's because if I spend this 175 right now, I'm gonna be good for a while. You know what I'm saying, as far as training goes? So, okay, somebody, okay, okay, bruh, bruh, all right. You know what, I'm not spending 175 no more. I'm not gonna spend 175, since somebody wants to steal my training, you know what I'm saying, I'm just not gonna do it anymore. Okay, 165, all right, I'll take this one then. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like that, yeah, bro. Now I got something for cheaper because you try to, you know what I'm saying? You try to embarrass me in front of my viewers. All right, so this guy sucks. So we're going to go ahead and take the 10,000 training for him, almost 94, whatever it is. And I urge you guys to look around and be very, very careful because you'll see snipes 165, 149. People are just trying to get rid of certain cards. So you're going to have a lot more uh, luck with doing that right now. And I would urge you guys to kind of get that done uh, as soon as possible. So let's go back right now and finish powering up this card. And, um, you know, Jason Elam had an 89 kick power maxed out. The dude was garbage, but we used him at a time where we needed a better kicker. It is what it is. We're not going to sit up here and set trip. Things happen. But at the end of the day, we had to move on. All right? We're not going to worry about it. Hopefully, his power up sells too. Like, bruh, peace out. You suck. Now, let's continue to upgrade real quick. Um, and remember, these don't count towards your um, the three abilities that you get on offense and defense. This is just straight special teams. So don't worry about it. You get one ability, which is kind of weak. They might, with the upgrade, add another one. Um, the focus kicker, though, it seems to be the better one. I, I don't know. Maybe clutch kicker to not worry about getting iced. But it, maybe focus kicker um, might be a little bit better. Just having like the slower kicker rating on everything. We'll just go ahead and craft that one. I think that that one might be the most ideal just to make sure you get it the way you want. Now you have an opportunity. Which one do we want to use? Um, what is he in? He's in a Kansas City. So we'll, you know, whatever uniform he's in, we'll just keep him in that uniform. Um, and that's pretty much it. So now he's ready to go. Let's take a look at his numbers. Um, now that he's, you know, fully upgraded, you can see 92 kick power. That's huge. We should, we should be making him from like 64 and beyond now. All right, as opposed to having an 89 when we didn't meet that level tier and we were losing games based on a dude can't make a 50 yarder. Um, it was really, really wild and savage. All right, now we got the kicker done. Let's head over to the punter and we're gonna do the same exact thing. We were able to snipe up Ray Guy. Um, most, most likely these players are going to be getting some type of upgrade coming very, very soon. So we could go ahead and get rid of this guy. 
Um, I guess we sell them for like, you know, nine, what, what are you, what is he doing? I guess I could, nah, we're gonna sell them for like 20 something K. How much, is, what, he's an 85 overall, 970. Um, all right, we'll, we'll go 21, we'll go 21 K. Somebody will buy him for 21. He's a Dallas Cowboy. Every, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Everybody buys Dallas Cowboys for very, very expensive prices for some reason, even though the team is doing whatever they want. So we'll continue to power him up. We're gonna also give him an ability as well, because what happens is, if you get the slower kick meter, you can pinpoint and, and put dudes with the coffin corner. If you play dudes that have these upgraded punters and um, and kickers, you'll see a difference immediately. Um, I just didn't have the funds to do it, and I wasn't trying to go dead broke doing it. Now that we have a little bit more, we get to work with a little bit, you know, so we can, you know, rock it out. So immunity to ice the kicker. Why would why would ice the kicker? What? All right, we're gonna put up. No, do we need to, do we need to really put it on slow for this guy? As an ability, like have him in as a focus kicker. Like he's already that good. Should we waste 1500 training? Probably not. Pro isn't that overdoing it guys? What do you guys think? You think it's overdoing it? Like just think about it. Just think about it that way. Like are we overdoing it adding an ability um, to this guy? We'll make him a raider obviously. But do we really need it that slow? Isn't that like we're just trying to just spend training? It's just definitely weird bro. But then again, you guys might be like, yo, you might as well, bro, YOLO, you only live once, you know what I'm saying? All right, we give them a focus kicker, whatever. And if we want to get rid of it, we'll add it. We, we got the trade in the blow, why not? All right, so everybody's going to have slow kicking. Now, you'll see that um, based on what just happened, um, the overall went from 93 to 94. Why did that happen? Pretty much right now, what, what, what happens with it is, even though there's not a spot there, you see like how we're still 93 overall here? EA does that purposely to just kind of give you insight into what position is missing to raise your overall. So it's kind of weird the way that it just happened. But once we put the players in, it should remain. It should remain as that. It should remain at whatever it was. Um, so we're going to put the kicker in right there as a 92. We're going to put the punter in also um, as a 92. Okay. Now, both of them being in, it should still now you know remain at where it is because we had an 85 overall before. So the kickoff starter, who has the better kickoff power? This guy. Okay, so we're gonna use him. All right, so now with everything the way that it is, when we back out, okay, okay. Oh, we have to add the, um, the abilities. What, what's going on here? Um, oh, we only get to add one. Why do we only get to add one though? All right, so we gotta give it to the kicker. So we just wasted, um, we just wasted 10% of 15. So shout out to EA Sports. So we're gonna give it to that guy. We could go ahead and take this ability off. I thought they gave it to both though. I guess, so what, what's gonna happen with the special teams returner? Cause I know Devin Hester is up to probably get something. What's gonna happen with that? All right, let's take it away from him though. At least we were balling a little bit. Like we, we just balled out like crazy. And then we went, we went too wild. And um, at least if you're watching the video, you know not to do this because it makes more sense to obviously give it to your kicker. So I don't mind losing the 150 off that, um, but just make sure you don't do it, all right? Because um, I thought that they would give you two since they said special teams don't count. Anybody on special teams, it doesn't count. Leave it like that. But then they end up doing that, so whatever. And then also while I'm here, we might as well get rid of Tory Holt as, uh, um, we might as well get rid of him and, and probably put somebody else there as a kick returner. Let's go ahead and put Tyreek Hill there. No, no, you know what? I'm going to probably, because Barry, if I put Barry Sanders there, I got a feeling he's going to fumble the football. It, I'm, I'm just feeling that way. Deion Sanders fumbles the ball all the time, and he's so highly rated. Um, I think we probably should put somebody back there that's going to be able to, um, you know, take it for six. Barry Sanders with evasive, maybe. We might be able to rock with him. But that's neither here nor there. We'll figure that stuff out later. But that's just something that you guys need to do as soon as possible. Um, it's something that I really, really am uh, passionate about as far as upgrading your team and taking it to the next level. So pay attention to your special teams. Um, and like I said, the NFL 100, it continues to go weekly. And the next one that drops should include the special teams and you'll have a head start and just need the, you know, the newer card that comes out, which you'll probably be able to snipe and just have like a crazy overall kicker, like a 95 or whatever they're gonna be. Um, you know, they're gonna be a 94. They might get chemmed up to 95, depending on, you know, whatever. It, it all depends on what's going on with your team overall. But I would get a head start with it right now and see how it goes. I wanna thank you guys and girls for watching. You have an unbelievable day. Stay blessed. Let me know your team overall. Is your special teams on point? All that good stuff. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. One love.